Hey guys, it's that time of the month where we're going to go through what our subscribers received in their February subscription boxes and we're going to go through the Bass Box. Uh, what are we kicking it off with, Chris? Let's start with something that's going to be on the top, so on the surface. This is just a little pop off from Berkeley's ProTech range. So that is just the little pop 50. Yeah, so 50, it's five centimeters. It's a it's a pretty small cupped face, so it's going to be pretty finesse. I mean, you can see that focusing there. It's not going to throw out a whole heap of water, which is probably kind of ideal for bass because you can just sort of jiggle this on the surface, make it look like a little dying fish or a bug or something like that. The colours in it are all really nice as well, which is going to be good for your bass. I think they're one of the fish that seem to kind of care about colours. Um, Easy as to use, cast it near some structure yeah. and twitch it. Especially in the skinny water, you don't want a massive nah. explosion like a GT popper. You want something nah. a little bit more realistic. I mean, being the shape of this as well, you can sort of twitch them and walk them and they just do that yeah. little, little spit, which yeah. is exactly really going to get a bass, yeah. Exactly. All right, so we've got our surface lure and the next thing we have is from Demiki, 3 8 ounce. It is the MTS Spinnerbait. Now that is a tandem spinner right there, as you can see. And it has what's called the Mega Vibration Blade. So basically what they got here is, spinner bait blade is not as curved as a traditional blade that's gonna spin. So this one's gonna spin and it's gonna kick out every once in a while and give it a bit more of that erratic action. They work very, very well. Um, throw a lot of the smaller quarter rounds for the bass. This 3 8 be perfect for the slightly deeper waters. High quality bearing swivel. It's got a good keeper hook on there if you wanna put a plastic. Um, only thing I'd recommend adding to this is probably a trailer hook with a short striking bass because they like to grab the skirt sometimes. So a little trailer hook will work wonders. Yeah. Oh. Well, next thing, let's go with a jerk bait. So this is the Shadow Wrap Jack Deep from Rapala. Uh, that should be the seven centimeter. Yep. Yeah, so standard jerk bait, except something slightly different on it is, if you can see that bib there, it's sort of a square bill. So when you're jerking these down, you can actually hit them off the structure a lot better than those rounded ones. They don't snag up as well and they sort of kick off on weird it angles. nicely. Yeah, gets fish going pretty hard. So this would be a jerk bait that you could just roll along as well. Um, otherwise, yeah, if you want to jerk it, cast it next to some trees or something. Give it some pretty aggressive jerks or even the little tiny jerks. Um, should be a suspending this one, I believe. I don't know if that's a slow rising. So that's actually kind of nice for bass because if you're yeah, you behind the stump, stump yeah, stump for a log, you can let it float up over it, work it straight down. That's normally when you're going to get crunched anyway. Yeah, exactly, exactly. All right, so we've got a cool surface lure, spinner bait, uh, deep diving jerk bait, and I'm going to wrap it up with the next two things. First is from Fish Arrow. It is a three-inch paddle tail. Got a bit of a small paddle on there, so it's more of a finesse, clear water. And we've gone for lighter colors in most of the boxes. Reason being, the second lure um, product we think is pretty cool. It's called the Spike It Dip and Glow Marker. Now the handy thing is when you're out on the water and you want to add something different to your lure, you want to pimp it up. These markers, you can use them on soft plastics. You can also use them on hard bodies. Yeah. And it stays on the hard body as well. So if you wanted to give that popper an orange belly or the crank, um, orange on the bill or on the tail these markers are super handy it dries within seconds and you can use it on your soft plastics now here's one i've taken a white soft plastic and i've just added a little bit on the tail there and that changes the whole look of that lure now i've taken the mark and i've used it on prawn lures i've done the underbelly with a bit of orange or a bit of pink they have black ones, you can put stripes on it. We'll do a little insert in here to show some of the things that you can do with these uh, markers. Very handy in your tackle box because you never know when that can going to convert a tough bite into what could be a productive day just by doing something little that's outside of the box. So kind of handy to have. You a never lot, know when you use it. A lot it. nicer than having the whole tubs too floating around the boat. So you can just chuck them in your tackle bag and e not worry. Exactly. Or it's not going to spill on the deck. Exactly. Yeah. Which, and if uh, you use that before. stuff, it um, it's pretty volatile. It's going to dig your stuff up. So. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. All right. So this is the February 24 Bass and Yellows monthly mm -hmm. subscribers box. If you like what you see and you want to subscribe, hit up our website tackleclub.com.au. Select your uh, monthly subscription and choose your bass box. 
if you want to win this exact box just comment below what lure would you tie on first if you won this box and we'll choose the winner around about the 5th of March until then tight lines catch you later guys Thank you.